<laughs> it's just gonna drop. Like today's like probably the warmest it's gonna be for the next several days. So walk, talk, check cows. Um, I need to help Carol grind some chicken feed. Come on, ladies, dry it up. Pushing against each other. A little frosty this morning. about how many miles we walk um, it kind of ranges um, when it's really nice I walk a lot more um, we always walk to the pen um, unless it's muddy or just can't um, then we leave the truck all the way at the hay barn but sometimes like today I drove the truck to um, the outside paddock and the girls want to be moved which I may go on and just put out some hay this morning to keep them content until tonight. I'm going to open this water tank. I'm trying to think of what other questions you guys asked. Um, somebody asked about the water tanks where we don't bust all of it. We just bust the paddock they're, they're in and around the float really good. There's no rhyme or reason. That's just what Jason does, so that's what I do. Um, it is very frosty. Very frosty. And actually, this one's not too bad. I don't know, can you guys see the fish in them? This one is broken all the way open just because we got warm enough temperatures over the weekend that everything thawed out. But now it's frozen again. So we, it does make some, some beautiful landscaping, the frosted trees, but at the same token, it's not always fun to mess with every day, day in and day out. And, but this is the way of owning livestock and being a farmer and it's every day, all day. And I don't think I would trade it for anything. Except for I should really find and invest in some warmer clothing. Hey ladies. So fun fact, and I may have said it before, when snow comes on the cows, like these guys are frosted, uh, when there's snow on their backs, it actually helps to retain heat. Um, they stay warmer if there's snow on. Ryder, come on. Hey, Mama. She's one that'll calf here in about a month or less. three right here. She's been one on my radar. Anything with those yellow tags, they'll calve. Three's gonna calve. She's getting real close. She's bagged and loose in the back end. And then, so these, actually, all these right here. She may calve in the fall, but all these right here, they're gonna calve. Frost tipped up there. She's not ready yet. Neither of those girls are. Calves are playing. Everybody's kind of frosty this morning. Hey, Sky. Hey, right, come on, Ryder. Let's go. Stop playing. That's Stitch. Come here! They're all feeling frisky. All of them. The kids are butting around. The cows are butting around. I don't know if you can see all that. Hey! 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Ryder. Come here. Leave her alone. Come on. Let's go. Let's go to the truck. Come on. I never want to. I never want to bore you all. So every day is pretty much the same routine. Get kids up. Get kids to school. Come check cows. Go to shop, barn, do what needs to be done there, and kind of just go from the day. Um, sometimes it is working in the shop on projects. Sometimes I get to work with the horses more. Other days it's delivering hay or doing paperwork, which I am behind on. I actually have a paper I need to write for my class. It's due on Friday, so I'm probably going to utilize the cold weather and kind of buckle down and get that paper wrote. And I really like the topic. Um, it's on uh, conventional feeding versus grass-fed rotational feeding. So it's right up our alley, what we're doing. Frosted handles. Come on! Are you walking? Come on! I'm leaving! Like telling children. I always love the cedars. They're so pretty in the winter. It was snow. They kind of took a beating with that ice we had about a month ago. Um, I do not see cows. <laughs> Need the axe. We said I didn't get all the way to the water tank and remember it. I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. Okay, try again. Axe. Um, I do not see any of my cows. So I'm really hoping that they're just over the ridge a little bit and not MIA. Okay, come on, bud. Let's go check this side first. I did have problems with this water tank the other day. Um, it wasn't necessarily the tank itself that was frozen. It was the line into the pump house, which is on a separate line than all the mother tanks are. Jason and I put this one in ourselves um, this early fall sometime. Put it in when it was nice. <laughs> but we really like the tire tanks. Um, so far they've been very easy to manage and they don't really typically have any problems. Um, we haven't had problems with the floats freezing or anything. It's just the ice on top of the tank. This tank's a little bit different just because it's an added in line. <sighs> I feel like I should be playing music like do 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 do. <laughs> Here. Still no, oh, there they are. I see them now. There they are. Mamas! Here comes! These are the bread mamas that we'll be calving soon. so hot the other one's not the good thing about these these posts is if we ever had to we could I don't want to electric shit myself here
we got any surprises. She's not calved yet. I don't think anybody has, but we'll walk just in case. good girls and actually Jason and I've talked about moving them back off this paddock once they start calving um, off this field pasture because this is a hay ground pasture <sighs> we'll bring them closer to that hay barn up there so that way it's easier for when I start doing nighttime checks <sighs> hi ladies it was just a bit frosty over here yeah just a bit frosty Any time today, Mama. Well, actually, if you could wait till after the weekend, that'd be great. It's supposed to be super, super cold over the weekend, so just kind of concerned about girls calving when it's negative something outside. What do you think, Strawberry? <sighs> Frosty Mamas. Frosty mamas. It's a game. It's a game. Hey! Hey! You can tell he's been pinned up at home. Not able to run. Hey, Rosie girl. You ladies all good? Till tonight? Nobody's gonna calve in the next four or five hours? Okay, good. I have a paper to write. Come on, Ryder! Well, now that morning cow checks are done, I will migrate back to the shop and take care of horses and see what the rest of the day holds. What are you all up to today? Anything fun? Mm. Nothing really? <sighs> so cute. What do you think, good girl? <laughs> She's like, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Just rub my belly. <laughs> How many she got? Still seven? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, four, six. Yep, there is two, four, five, six. Yeah, there's seven. Skip. They're so cute, Sky. You did a good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Happy Friday. It's cold, and it's only going to get colder. Ugh. It might actually be the warmest it's going to be for the next, like, ten days. Yeah. Cold. Zero cold. We've got cattle creep feed to mix. We have some owls to check. Hay to put out. Busy, busy morning. I need to feed. Horses are kind of starved. I think they're starving. Good morning, children. Hello, everybody. One, two, three, and four back there. Shiloh came home yesterday from being bred. Uh, I'll call the vet and just confirm that she is with foal. And if she is, well, she'll just go back out to pasture and uh, be mommy. And if she's not, well, then we'll put her back in the lineup. Hi, pretty girl. I missed you. Yeah. Missed you. Let's get some feed. You hungry? Hungry ladies and boys. Oh, grab my bucket. Jason, when he picked up the calf creep yesterday, 
picked up my Purina stash from Feeder's Grain, so that's always nice. They go in above and beyond for me. Jenny quite often has to bring me feed. But we are stocked up and uh, ready for this winter weather. morning, grind a bunch of feed, get hay all lined out, and then I'm going home. That's my plan. It's too cold to be outside. And it's only going to get colder. So there's going to be a lot of housework, a lot of cleaning, a lot of uh, just spending time at home with it being frigid besides checking cows and doing chores. So I apologize that there's not been a whole lot of content. I just don't like to bore you, and just, it's kind of been the same old, same old lately. Driving this beast always makes me a little nervous. It's one of those things that, yes, I know how to drive it, and I can drive it kind of like a semi, but I'm always afraid to drive it because I don't want to tear it up. Like his semi, like if we tear up his semi and that's his good semi, then we can't deliver hay, which means we can't make money, but <sighs> do what I'm told, do what I'm told. Sometimes as a farm wife and a farm hand, that's the best thing you can do. Just listen. We haven't even got to the bad day. <sighs> but we have a new mixer. I'm really excited to try it out. The boys picked it up at the sale over the last weekend. <sighs> See if Jason will talk about it.
sunshine sitting here in the horse barn. It is beautiful. It is beautiful and bright, even if it's cold. Um, this week has not went according to my plans. <sighs> Jason and I should be preparing to be leaving for Branson, but we're not. Um, this week has just been an up and hell of not feeling good. Uh, I'm just going to enjoy the sunshine right now. It's, it feels nice on my face and I'm out of the wind while I wait for Jason to bring up another tractor so we can grind some feed so we can use this Artsway mixer um, to make some cattle creep so uh, my babies don't get hungry although I'm starting to get hungry <sighs> Oof. I need to do a grocery run. I haven't been in, I don't know, probably 10 days. Four days. discount tool and I'll put the links right here and in below but Nick is awesome to work with and he is going to help us do our giveaway so stay tuned for that you love your grease gun don't you do you love it more than me <laughs> no comment guys asked my favorite winter weather gear uh, the CC beanies I live in those all the time my burn char coat Bernie bibs I don't know I've had this coat probably I don't know 
seven years at least. At least. Let's get a good one. Um, I usually go through bibs every other year. But I think I am going to uh, take Sandy Brock's advice and buy different ones next year. Uh, Carhartt came out with some new designs. And uh, they have a butt flap for us girls. And if you know, you know. We're gonna grind this feet up, get it over the calves, do chores. <sighs> At least the sun is shining. <sighs> sun, yay, sun. Sun, sun, sun. If you like tagging along with us today and mixing and grinding and choring and everything else we did, make sure to hit the subscribe. That's how our channel keeps growing. But also, please remember to hit the notification bell so we don't get lost in all your other favorite YouTube channels. Uh, thumbs up. And uh, waiting on Jason. Just waiting. Uh, we're actually going to unload. Uh, we ground some corn for Carol to use for the chickens just to make sure it all was working right before we threw in our creep mix. We're going to unload a little bit of corn into the barrels and the chicken feet, chicken, chicken feet, in the chicken barn, and then we'll uh, start mixing that calf creep, to get that going for the day. So, thanks so much for hanging out with us. It means the world. Uh, we're gonna do that giveaway with JDT Co. You guys can go follow Nick and their channel right there. Uh, I'll also put it in the links below in the description. They're pretty fun. They're pretty awesome to work with. Um, they are our major supplier, probably only supplier of tools for the farm. So when you see us using our Milwaukee stuff or our lights or um, really anything in the shop, it came from them. They keep us going, that's for sure. Well, that didn't go as planned. up the batch of feed it is a nice ration it's got several different things in it cracked corn soybean holes Perina 36% starter grower beef steak master um, there's good hay in it there's oats he's probably put the Perina um, wind and rain in there as well this is gonna be over for our calf creep. Buddy, has it been a long day? Yeah. <sighs> I know. <laughs> has it been a long day for you two? Mm -hmm. We'll finish my chores and then we'll go home, okay? And we can snuggle. <laughs> I know, we're almost done, I promise. <laughs> So I did run home and find me a scarf. It's one of my favorites. It's got ponies on it. We're ready. Finally. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go do some cow chorin. Mm -hmm. I know today's kind of been pieced together. Um, the gearbox in the Artsway mixer went out when we went to unload. So that was fun. It's a good thing we have a backup mixer. So we uh, went and got the other one and went ahead and mixed. It seemed like it took us all afternoon. 
Um, but we got it mixed. We got two loads, two batches done. The calf creep feeder is full to the brim.